Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's training. We are going to be focusing on last week's incredible Leadership Academy. Uh, for those of you that don't know, every year, the Muckwells Nation get together and put on absolutely world-class training um, for, for a pittance of money, actually. It costs us 15 pounds, that's one five, 15 pounds, uh, for each of us to be able to go and attend, and it's, um, 10 till 4, there was like drinks and snacks put on um, throughout the day. We got to try the amazing lemon, uh, new lemon snack bars, which I absolutely love. There was fizz sticks on hand, which kept us fueled and buzzing all day long. Um, and we all took our own lunch. I'm just going to make sure we put these ones on mute for a minute. There we go. We took our own lunch and all sat outside and had this wonderful lunch. So it, for what it cost us to go to that event, I think it was £15. Um, plus it cost us 35 quid each for a gorgeous little B&B that we found. We had what we'd consider, you know, AAC standard of training for a day, an entire day. And what I want you guys to understand is how powerful, if you haven't been, how much you need to get there next year, because it really just does propel you in so many ways. And I'm going to get Mia just to talk about that in a minute, about being a first time attendee as a consultant and how just that one little day has set her up for her business. Um, so I'll get me to see that first, and then I'm gonna go through some of what I took away as the top tips um, from this year's leadership. So if you, un I'll unmute you, Mia. Oh no, you'll have to unmute yourself. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, so um, Leadership Academy, yeah, it was amazing. Really, really enjoyed myself. I think for me, what made it as well was obviously the fact that um, Rebecca had put in place the incentive before, which I can't believe I actually managed to win. So that just made the whole weekend absolutely, you know, brilliant. We all went away and um, had a lovely spa day the day before. We're really treated as spoil, which actually since then has drummed up so much interest in the business through like people seeing our photos on Facebook and just stuff like that. Everyone's interested in what I was doing and, oh, that looks amazing. You know, was that your arm on stuff? Oh, wow, like, you know, wanting to hear more. So that's sort of really, really good that's come out of it. Um, but the actual on the day itself, I just found it amazing, really, just to, I think, because when you're new in the business, you hear a lot about what it can do for you and how if you really work, then you can get this out of it, that out of it. Um, but it's all just sort of word of mouth at that point. It's when you go to the Leadership Academy and you can see the people there with their Mercedes outside and they're the ones talking to you and they're the ones who've sort of made it, you just think, I can do it. And they're giving you their advice and it's just, it's incredible to hear it from them. You sort of, it really goes in. Um, and you know, you're hearing their stories and how they've kind of made it. You, it makes them real. Because well, when you're, you're hearing names all the time, you're thinking, oh, well, I'm not really like them. You can't really relate. And then you hear their stories, you think, actually, you know, I've got my story too. And it's just pure dedication on their part that's made them get where they are. Yeah. So um, it does make you think, you know, if I can just go away and just put my all into it, and it sort of gives you a drive again, because you do, I do find that I sort of go up and down and lose my mojo a bit. And then with this, it really was a boot up the bum. Like it did make me think, yeah, I really, really want to do it. Yeah. Um, but also as well, the, the final speaker was um, Victoria McHugh, and she was just, absolutely amazing like the room was just completely in silence in silence completely in awe we were all just like oh my god you are not only completely beautiful but also just like such a gorgeous person as well and um yeah she just makes everyone want to be just like her really I was just like I really just want to be you <laughs> um but she also had so much good advice and yeah it was just it was a really really good day out definitely definitely recommend it it's definitely made me feel like because I haven't actually got a ticket to, the, um, to AAC, but it's made me feel like, oh, I really want to get there just to get that same buzz that I got from the leadership. And like Rebecca said, that seems to be like a fraction of what the AAC is. So, yeah, just need to get myself sorted now and see if I can get there. Uh, so, yeah, all in all, it was an amazing day. It was really good. It was an amazing day. Oh, thank you for telling us how, how you felt. I think it's really good for new consultants to share, because obviously we've been doing it for a long time. Um, and it's really good to see that perspective, you know, that fresh perspective. So, no, thank you for that. I absolutely was buzzing 
from from it too and that it, there was so much that we're just not going to get through if you haven't got a virtual ticket um then please let me know because um i don't want you to miss out um there's some such good speakers that you know i want to make sure that you get that so even if it means that you're going to log in on my id or whatever it is i really want you to watch some of those speakers particularly victoria um she was she was phenomenal she was our keynote speaker but she was absolutely amazing and i'm gonna start with her just because she did have so much advice and i was scribbling and scribbling away but what i really loved about her was just her brashness and you know so she was so straight to the point there was absolutely no pussyfooting around with her and um, she's very much like that with her team as well which I really loved and one thing that she talked about um, the most one of the most significant things was about stop comparing yourself to other people you know it would come up as a theme throughout the entire day it's the worst thing that you can do oh well you know she she's had this opportunity, she's been able to do that, I, I'm, there's no way I'll ever be able to do that, she's been doing it for years, she's so beautiful, she's really good at public speaking, whatever it is, stop doing it, and because the, the key thing is once you realise all you have to do is be you, and more importantly, be happy in your own shoes, and you will fly in this business, because people just wanna see and hear from genuine people you do not need to be anybody else and she really drummed down this is I can't stress it enough the importance of it she said you know strive of course to be a better version of you each day and we can just improve on ourselves all the time but importantly love yourself love yourself for who you are and where you're at and don't stop um, to congratulate you on your small achievements as you go you know the little bit a message that you sent or a response that you've got don't for, don't forget to take time to say you know well done on that you know michelle obviously we've got has just hit her um roger bannister award you know she needs to be really congratulating herself she's doing absolutely phenomenally well she needs to go yeah i'm absolutely rocking it this month and take that time out to really appreciate your success as you're growing through this business however big like that or even just the small successes because you need to really really love on yourself um to be successful in this business um and the, the other thing that she said is the, re the 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 minute that you realize that this business is a is about helping other people is the point when you then become really truly successful in it you have to become what was the word she used a servant leader for others leading for others and what realizing that your vision actually has an impact on the world um, and that you know that that's what your vision should be when you're sharing it to the people that you're prospecting with or your team um, they should know what your vision is and how you are there to help them become everything that they need to be the other thing that she talked about was having 10 seconds of brave and this came up quite a lot danny wells did a really good thing about you know the impact of not speaking to somebody in a queue um, that you've started a bit of a conversation with the impact of you not sharing the business and what if that what if could be and and uh, victoria McHugh did very much the same as well she said you need to have 10 seconds of brave you know, that point where you're having a conversation with somebody and you feel that Arbonne could be a fit for them, but for whatever reason, you don't bring it up or you don't mention it or you're a bit fearful of what they're going to say and you leave it and then you leave that situation and you fester on it for the day and you think, God, what if only I'd have just said that thing to that girl. She said, you need to give yourself that 10 seconds of brave, you know. But bollocks to everything else and just ask anyway because really what is the worst situation what is the worst thing that's going to happen by asking somebody to look at this business the, the worst thing they're going to say is no it's never really any more detrimental than that so that's what I really liked um, uh, what she said there and then the other great thing that she talked about was um, 
living in three modes of this business that so you um there's three modes that you can be in with your business and you can either be coming from a place of blame a place of justification or a place of growth now we all go through these um you know stages where we blame our situation um or people around us or our sponsor or our downline or our sidelines or whatever it is or the position that we are in the world you know it's very easy to to place blame on why your situation is the way that it is um and then to justify it for whatever reason you know it's very easy for us because it then gives us a reason a reason which we can use to justify why we're not where we want to be in our business um, and we and it's very easy to sit in these two places and where really you need to be is in a place of growth so if you can be from a place of growth within your business within your mindset within how you're thinking that's where you need to be to be really successful in this business. So she asks all of her consultants when they're talking to her about a problem or something that's happening in their life, she will say, is this coming from a place of blame, justification or from growth? And they'll say, well, it's probably coming from a place of justification. And she's like, right, well, I'm going to give you 30 seconds on that. I'm going to let you get it out. And then that is all the amount of time that we're spending on this. And then we're going to find then a way where you're going to come from a place of growth and i thought that's fantastic because we don't even if we're not coaching a team yet we can say those things to ourselves you know we can say well let's just identify where this is coming from and actually then change the mindset and our behaviors so that we are coming from a place of growth your energy needs to be in growth to be successful in this business and your energy needs to match the energy of others so for your team, for instance, you know, you can't want it for them. It can't do it for them. They have to be matching your energy um, for, for you all to be successful. So she said, you know, make sure that you're matching. If you've got a runner in your team, make sure that you're matching your energy. If you're plowing all your energy into somebody who's not matching yours, then you know you've just got to let them be because everybody has their own journey and that is completely fine they're probably just not ready to run yet love them where they're at that's absolutely fine but just match your energy levels to the people within your business absolutely loved okay so she made a um and we all did this actually so I said to all of our girls, I was like, right, but at the end of today, we need to all reach out to five new people that we've not reached out to before. Uh, and she said the same thing, actually. She said, Look, do not stop reaching out to those people. Her, uh, one of her regional vice presidents, I think it was Lauren Peters, um, who's in her team, she reached out to her like eight times eight times to look at this business. And she said, it's simply just, I know I reached out to you before. Um, about Arbon, but I truly believe that you have what it takes to be successful in this business. And I really want you just to take a look at this opportunity. So she, even if it's somebody you have reached out to before, reach out with the, to them and breathe belief into them because the, the chances are they've said no because they just don't believe that they can do it. So you need to breathe belief into them. And I did just this and to, I contacted some people that I had already contacted before and said, look, I, I believe you will be amazing at this. And it was really interesting, some of the responses that I got. You know, I, they were like, yeah, I, I'd love to do it, but I'm really scared. You know, we'd never had this sort of conversation before. But you showing them that you really believe that they could do this is probably all that they need to have that push to go to the next level. So I absolutely love that. I really took that on board with what she said. I'm working backwards from her because she was, she was the best one. By far, she was absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, just one last thing that she said, which I thought was really good, was, um, rather than, um, getting people if people struggle with their why and how to write their why uh, um, and they can't think of what their life looks like in the future 
and get them to, especially women, you know, to work out who they're doing this business for. Who is it that they want to impact in their life? Is it a kids? Is it some elderly parents? Is it future elderly parents? You know, what, who are the people that they're doing this before? Because that often motivates people way, way more than a thing or some material thing or a big house or whatever that they think about the future. If you think about who they're doing this for, uh, who get your consultants to think about who they're doing the business for and create their why around that, they're much more likely to, to do it and to stay and to see it through. That's what I was doing one too. Jennifer Cowie did a fantastic thing on daily disciplines. Um, she is such a square in terms of shape. You know, she's super organized, super methodical. I imagine she like diligently does her tracker every single day. You know, she's, she's awesome at that. But she did also say something that I thought was fantastic was not only we've talked about obviously the importance of having vision boards. And I, if nobody, if you, none of, if some of you on the call have not done this, then you definitely need to do this. This is where you're depicting your future of what you want in your life within pictures. And you've got it in a significant place, you know, on your laptop, on the door, on the fridge, you know, in several different places of your life, on your phone, whatever it is. But it's places and people and the things that you want to happen in your life. Well, she does a very similar thing, but it's a written as well, in addition to this, called a written vision board, which is called a power life script. And she reads that to herself every day. So that is then just um, a two minute um, statement, um, a, a written statement of what her, looks, her life looks like in detail in the future, what her kids' looks like, lives look like, what they're physically around them, their house, their cars, what they're doing, what charities they're supporting. So she reads that and then it, it's just another way of enforcing in that into your mind um, a different way so that's a visual way this is obviously then an auditory way um, of you then reinforcing that belief of what you want your future to be and I absolutely love that so I took that was her best tip that she took on board make sure that you're doing a uh, power life script there was lots of stuff on um, retaining clients which i'm not going to talk about tonight but if you're interested in like retaining clients information carol sutton houghton does a great um training on that we can do that separate because it's quite specific whereas this is just a, a general top tips um but what she did say is what is your plan b you know, what is your plan b for your future are you preparing for impact in your life and i think this is really important to make sure that every one of our consultants in our business is talking to people about this, you know, because what are your, what is your option for, for if something happened, how long is your savings going to be able to support you if something, you know, what, whatever situation happened tomorrow, how long would you be able to support in that situation? So more and more people are looking for a plan B option. Um, and it's something that we need to talk about straight away when we're talking to consultants that are joining their business, you know, thinking about joining the business, because it really makes them think about their current lifestyle situations and um, what they need to change from it. And the other thing that I absolutely loved, which we talk about ever such a lot, I mean, obviously mindset is the biggest thing that you need to work on in this business. We are all equal in every single way. We all have exactly the same opportunity. We all have the same products, all have the same you know, website. And really the only difference uh, between the EMVPs you know, and a brand new consultant is the time that they have been working this business and the, um, obviously the consistency that they've been putting into their business and working on their mind and who they are as an individual. So mindset was absolutely phenomenal. And Kelly Bromley, she's area manager, did an absolutely great thing on the chimp um, paradigm, which was great. It really just got people to start thinking about the language that they used to themselves and how you would need to rephrase it. So simply just rephrasing the things that you're saying to yourself on a daily basis. You know, the reality is we have like, 60,000 
thoughts a day um, and 95 percent of them are reoccurring thoughts that we just say again and again and again and again and the key thing is to be able to trigger and identify with the ones that are really negative and are having a real negative impact on your on your whole being and change the language that you use um, so an example that we were talking about i've scribbled it out so much so i'm afraid i'm afraid of rejection was obviously one big thing that comes up especially in this, this business ever such a lot uh, and we have to sort of scribble that out and write a more positive um, affirmation so I am so happy and grateful that people say yes to me my results are consistent and they're constantly going up I am a sponsoring machine you know you have to write something that was really so contrasting to that initial statement that you would then need to start telling to yourself so we can you know we can retrain the way that we think, but we have to be conscious initially in that decision. And then it becomes like a subconscious thing. So you haven't read it yet. The Chimp Paradox is really, really good book to read to help kick those chimps off your shoulders and help you then to be in a really positive mindset. And just on the last couple of minutes, I just wanted to, uh, we did, I, I, I was talking on stage just um, in a very short um, panel called the, I can't remember what it was called, but basically people have been in our for a long time. So there's myself and, um, um, oh my goodness, Alison Hutchinson, um, Laura Leggett and uh, Nikki Marchant. So the four of us were, and we just had to share some pearls of wisdom. And I just want to, um, over that 10 minute period that we were up there, I think we just, covered you know some of the absolute key um cornerstones to what you need to have to be successful in this business and i just wanted to sum up on those because if you can nail these then you're absolutely going to be flying in your business so we talked about obviously the belief that you have in this business but not just in yourself it is like a four layered process or a tiered process depending how you want to look at it so you could look at it like pillars of strength one being the products one being like um the business and one being your your mindset um and the reality is you need to have pure 100 percent belief and commitment in each of those things and if you don't if for instance you've got a chink in your armor when it comes to your belief in yourself, then that is going to affect how you grow in this business. And that is the thing that you really need to work on. So that's what we get you to do is just really think about how you feel about this company. For me now that we're owned by Group Rocher, I feel so aligned with this company. I can see myself with this in this company forever. There's no reason why I would not want to be with them now. Um, whereas before when we were, you know, we were owned by a, an investment company I didn't have that same core belief so this really was an affected pillar for me but now that's massively been reinforced and I feel a hundred percent behind this business the products I feel a hundred percent behind this business uh, behind these products they're the best products in the world but if when you're thinking about that if there's something that doesn't resonate with you if there's some concern that you have then you need to address that whatever that concern is, whether it's about an individual product or how you feel about the product range, address it. The same with your mindset. If there's something that you're not quite sure about, that is the thing that you need to go back and work on. And that's why it's so important to be doing this personal development on a daily basis, because that is the thing that creates your armor. It creates your strength and your resilience to be able to get up and keep doing this day in, day out. When some days you don't want to get out of bed and you definitely don't want to think about Arbonne. But by doing the personal development, by building your belief in these three pillars of, you know, your, um, of these three products, the business and yourself, you will create an absolute, you know, super tight armor that nothing is going to penetrate and you'll be able to keep going with your business. And that's the reality is you've got just to be consistent with your business on a daily basis, getting out there, doing it, getting up even when you don't want to, and realizing that you know that you what you've got in your hands is absolutely precious. You know, this is an absolute gift that you want to share with the world. 
And even on days where you don't feel like doing it, you're going to do it anyway. That's the beauty of this business. And that's when people become super successful is when they start doing things that sometimes they really don't want to do, but they know that the, the bigger goal is obviously there. So that was very hard to get done in a half an hour window because there was so much content, as you can imagine, from like a 10 till 5. There's tons and tons of it. As, as I say, if you um, want to see any of that or hear any of it, then let me know. You can obviously just log on as me and have a look at those videos. Don't tell anybody that I've said that. Um, but if you want to see them, especially some of the bigger speakers, I would 100% urge you to do that. And more importantly, I would urge you to ensure that you are there next year to get it hands on because you will be absolutely buzzing if you um, if you get yourself there. Same with AAC. If you if you haven't got a ticket, there's still time to get a ticket to AAC and benefit from this. The people who come to AAC are absolutely skyrocketing in their business um, as soon as they leave. It's really, really, really powerful stuff. So on that note, I will let you all go. I know obviously the next train is at quarter past eight. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in tonight and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.